the 4PM Duo TOP Expressions. Let's take a look at some useful and suitable expressions we can use in various situations. Well, we'll go through some situations in sure. the expression. So let's start with our first one. 네, 첫 번째 표현입니다. 이제 와서 마음을 바꾸면 곤란해. Say for example, you agreed mm -hmm. to come with me to my birthday party 공연 보러 가, 가기로 했어요. 아. But now you pull out. 이제 네. 와서 마음을 바꿨어요. 네. So I would say, don't change your mind now. You're putting me in an awkward spot. Mm, because 혼자 가야 되기 때문에 혼자 가야 되기 때문에 이 남은 티켓이 있어가지고 네. it's 곤란해요. It's, it's an, you've put me in an awkward spot. Awkward spot. So an awkward spot 약간 불편하고 곤란한 상황에 처하게 된다는 뜻이에요. 네. So we put in an awkward spot. Right, or a difficult spot. 네. 저는 지금 와서 이렇게 마음을 바꾸면 참안 좋은 타이밍이야 라는 음. 식으로 번역을 했는데요. It's not very timely of you to change your mind now. It's not very timely of you to change your mind now. So it's not very timely. It's like it's the worst time, right, to change your mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, 마음 바꾸기에 진짜 최악의 시간이에요. 그렇죠. Let's move on to number two. 두 번째 표현입니다. 괜한 질문을 해서 곤란하게 만들었네요. Again, I use the word to put on the spot. Okay. I'm sorry if I put you on the spot by asking that. Ooh, I'm sorry if I put you on the spot by asking that. Because I asked that, 내가 그런 괜한 질문 했으니까 이제 상황을 곤란하게 만들었어요. 내가 그쵸. I made it an awkward situation. So I'm sorry if I put you on the spot by asking that. Mm -hmm. Put someone on the spot 하면은 그 사람이 약간 highlight 이, 이 사람이 주목받게 되는 것이죠. I guess so, yeah. 네, 그래서 주목받기 때문에 곤란하고 어색한 이 상황이 만들어진 거고. 네, 저는 I'm sorry if things got worse because of me. Ah, because of me, 나 때문에. 네, yeah. 혹은 because of my question, 내 질문 때문에 이 상황이 좀, 이 상황이 좀 곤란해져서. 어, 네, 안 좋게 됐다. Interestingly, we both said I'm sorry. Oh yeah, that's right. Because it's like 곤란하게 만들었네요. <laughs> it's kind of like implying, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't mean uh, to do that. 맞아요. Yeah, 의도가 아니었는데 mm -hmm. 그냥 이렇게 만들어 버렸네요, 내가. 맞아 영어 문 영어 쓰는 이 나라들에서는 이 sorry, excuse me, thank you를 진짜 많이 쓰는 것 같아요. 그죠. So, 네. Sorry if I put you on the spot by asking that. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to number three. 네, 세 번째 표현입니다. <웃음> 걱정 마. 오늘은 네가 곤란할 일 없게 할 테니까. 그래 걱정 마. Would be don't worry. 걱정하지 마. 이제 이제 그 사람한테 어, 동생이나 이제 친한 친구한테 너한테 이제 더 이상 곤란할 일이 없게 할 테니까 내가 다 알아서 할게. 음. I'll make sure you won't have to deal with awkward situations today. Uh, I'll make sure you won't have to deal with awkward situations today. Mm -hmm. That's good. 저는 조금 더 짧게 말해서 번역해서 Don't worry, I'll make sure everything goes smoothly for you today. 모두 순조롭게 잘 상황을 만들겠다. 네. Right, let's move on to number four. 네 번째 표현입니다. 장사가 어려워져서 생활에 곤란 곤란을 겪고 있습니다. 음. 생활에 곤란을 겪고 있다. So uh, like it's difficult getting by mm. these days. Yeah. Right? It's difficult getting by. 좀 근근히 살아가고 있다. It's, uh -huh. I'm, I'm getting by. It's 근근히 살아가다. Mm -hmm. But it's difficult getting by. You know, oh, it's hard to get by normally because 장사가 어려워져서 because business is down. Mm, business is down. I think this is a good expression for uh, 장사가 어려워지다, 장사가 잘안될 때는 business is down 하면은 꼭 it doesn't mean that it's shut down. Yeah, it, it doesn't just, mean that it's yeah. like 정리했다는 뜻이 아니고요. 네. It just means it's lower. Sales are lower. 네, 네, yeah. 네, 잘안 된다는 거죠. Right. 네, I said I'm having a tough time these days because of poor sales. I'm having a tough time these days because of poor sales. Right, poor sales. Uh, The business, business is down. down. Right. 장사가 좀잘안 되다, 어려워졌다라는 mm. 말이죠. All uh, right, let's move on to our final one, number five. 네, 다섯 번째 표현입니다. 자꾸 네 편만 들어주다 보니 내 처지가 너무 곤란해졌어. So I said things have gotten tricky for me since I'm always taking your side. Mm. What did you say? I said ever since I started backing you up, I've been in a pickle. <laughs> I like that. In a pickle. In a, in a pickle. pickle. 이라는 표현도 나왔는데요. 이 표현은 in a difficult situation 이랑 같은 뜻입니다. That's right. In a pickle. Love it.